In a shocking turn of events that has left the internet buzzing, a former president's recent outburst against one of the world's biggest pop stars has sent shockwaves through social media and the political landscape. The incident, which occurred just 50 days before a crucial election, has left many wondering about the motivations behind such a bold and potentially damaging move. Let's set the stage for this unexpected drama. Taylor Swift, undoubtedly one of the most influential figures in the entertainment industry today, commands the adoration and attention of hundreds of millions of fans worldwide. Her appeal is particularly strong among younger demographics, a crucial voting bloc that the former president has been struggling to connect with as the election approaches. In what can only be described as a baffling strategic decision, the former president took to his preferred social media platform to declare, in all capital letters, I hate Taylor Swift. This inflammatory statement has left his campaign staff undoubtedly scrambling to contain the fallout from this ill-advised outburst. One can't help but wonder which chapter of The Art of the Deal advocates for alienating the largest voting bloc in America. It's a move that seems to defy all conventional political wisdom and has left many political analysts scratching their heads in disbelief. As expected, supporters of the former president are working overtime to downplay the potential impact of this incident. One particularly misguided attempt at damage control came in the form of a social media post suggesting that Swift's fans would forget all about this controversy once they realized they couldn't vote from their phones and would have to wait in line at polling stations. This ill-conceived attempt at deflection was swiftly, pun intended, shot down by one of the singer's devoted fans. The response highlighted the fact that Swifties are more than accustomed to waiting in line for hours to see their idol in concert making it clear that the prospect of standing in line to vote is hardly a deterrent for this passionate fanbase. This exchange serves as a perfect example of the disconnect between the former president's team and the reality of Swift's influence. It's a classic case of underestimating the power of celebrity endorsements and the dedication of a fanbase that spans generations and crosses political lines. Now, there are two potential interpretations of this unexpected attack on one of the world's most beloved entertainers. The first possibility is that the former president is simply acting out of sheer impulsiveness and ego. It's entirely plausible that he felt threatened by Swift's recent endorsement of his political rival, which reportedly directed a significant number of potential voters to register. In this scenario, his reaction could be seen as a knee-jerk response, a result of his inability to resist lashing out when he feels his ego has been bruised. The alternative interpretation is that this move is part of a calculated strategy to create a distraction. It's worth noting that the former president has had a particularly challenging week. His performance in a recent debate was widely criticized, especially after he made controversial claims about immigrants that were later revealed to be based on false information. His running mate even admitted to lying about a related story on national television, further damaging their credibility. To make matters worse, subsequent polling has shown the former president trailing his opponent by as much as five points nationally. Given these circumstances, it's not hard to see why he might have a vested interest in shifting the narrative away from these setbacks. If that means engaging in a culture war with Taylor Swift, so be it. This tactic of creating distractions to avoid addressing substantive issues is not new for the former president. As one political commentator noted, his antics are often designed to divert attention from his failing record. Rather than addressing his poor debate performance, the loss of manufacturing jobs during his tenure, his tax cuts that primarily benefited the wealthy, or his role in undermining reproductive rights, he prefers to create new controversies. His aim appears to be keeping the media and public focused on sensational and outrageous claims, like his recent accusations about immigrants and pets, rather than discussing his actual record and policy positions. This strategy of deflection and distraction has been a hallmark of his political career, and it seems he's doubling down on it as the election approaches. The former president's recent social media posts, where he bizarrely brought up cats, dogs, and geese, seem to indicate that he's attacking Taylor Swift as a last-ditch effort to stir up controversy before the election. It's a move straight out of his playbook. When he's in trouble, he creates new controversies to divert attention. We've seen this before, like when he tried to overshadow his opponent's early campaign momentum by making inflammatory statements. Some might wonder why a seasoned politician would choose to wage war against the world's biggest star. The answer lies in the unwavering loyalty of his core supporters. They have demonstrated time and time again that they will support him regardless of how irrational his actions may seem. This blind allegiance has been evident in their attacks on various institutions and public figures, including major sports leagues, corporations, and now, even Taylor Swift. However, the sad reality is that the former president's reckless rhetoric can have real-world consequences, 
potentially putting people like Taylor Swift in danger. We've seen this pattern before, where his inflammatory statements about various groups have led to threats and property damage. When asked to disavow bomb threats against immigrants, his response was dismissive, demonstrating a troubling disregard for the violence his words can incite. In the current media landscape, the former president's strategy of employing both sides' rhetoric often allows him to escape accountability. The media's tendency to present issues in a balanced way can sometimes overshadow the more dangerous aspects of his rhetoric. For instance, his statements about political violence have often been overlooked, with the media failing to hold him accountable for his role in fostering such an atmosphere. As we approach the November election, voters are faced with a crucial question. Do we want a leader whose primary tactic is to incite harm against political opponents or, worse, to undermine the democratic process itself? This election isn't just about policies. It's about the very nature of leadership and the values we want to see represented in the highest office of the land. The former president's attack on Taylor Swift is just the latest in a long line of controversial statements and actions that have defined his political career. It's a strategy that has worked for him in the past, rallying his base and dominating news cycles. However, as we've seen with the swift and forceful response from Swift's fans, this tactic may be losing its effectiveness. The power of celebrity endorsements in politics has long been debated, but there's no denying the influence that someone like Taylor Swift wields. With millions of devoted fans across the globe, many of whom are of voting age or approaching it, her endorsement carries significant weight. The former president's decision to openly antagonize such a popular figure could prove to be a major miscalculation. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time the former president has found himself at odds with popular culture. Throughout his political career, he's engaged in public feuds with numerous celebrities, athletes, and entertainers. While these conflicts have often energized his base, they've also alienated large segments of the population, particularly younger voters. The timing of this latest outburst is particularly noteworthy. With just 50 days until the election, every move and statement takes on added significance. Political strategists typically advise candidates to focus on unifying messages and appealing to the broadest possible coalition of voters during this crucial period. The former president's decision to do the opposite, to deliberately antagonize a hugely popular figure, goes against conventional wisdom. This incident also highlights the growing importance of social media in political discourse. The ability for public figures to directly communicate with millions of followers, without the filter of traditional media, has fundamentally changed the nature of political campaigns. While this direct line of communication can be powerful, it also carries risks, as we've seen with the former president's impulsive posts. The response from the opposing campaign has been measured but effective. Rather than engaging directly with the former president's provocative statements, they focused on highlighting the contrast in leadership styles. They've emphasized their candidates' focus on substantive issues like jobs, healthcare, and climate change, positioning themselves as the adult in the room while their opponent engages in petty feuds. This strategy seems to be resonating with voters, as recent polls have shown a widening gap between the two candidates. The former president's attack on Taylor Swift may have been intended to energize his base, but it appears to be having the opposite effect, pushing undecided voters and moderates towards his opponent. The incident has also sparked a broader conversation about the role of celebrities in politics. While some argue that entertainers should stay out of political discourse, others point out that they have the same right as any citizen to express their views. Moreover, given their large platforms, many feel that celebrities have a responsibility to use their influence for what they believe is the greater good. Taylor Swift, in particular, has been increasingly vocal about political issues in recent years. Her endorsement of the former president's opponent wasn't a surprise to those who have followed her evolution as a public figure. She's used her platform to advocate for LGBTQ plus rights, racial justice, and gender equality, among other causes. Her political engagement has been met with enthusiasm by many of her fans, who see her as a role model not just in music, but in civic participation as well. The former president's attack on Swift has also highlighted the generational divide in American politics. Many of Swift's fans are millennials and members of Gen Z, demographics that have been increasingly engaged in political activism. These younger voters tend to prioritize issues like climate change, social justice, and economic equality, areas where the former president's policies have been widely criticized. By antagonizing Swift, the former president may have inadvertently mobilized a powerful voting bloc against him. Social media has been flooded with posts from Swift's fans expressing their determination to vote and encouraging others to do the same. 
this grassroots mobilization could have a significant impact on voter turnout, particularly among younger demographics. The incident has also reignited discussions about the former president's treatment of women in the public eye. Throughout his career, he's been criticized for making derogatory comments about women, particularly those who challenge or criticize him. His attack on Swift fits into this pattern, and it's likely to further damage his standing among female voters, a demographic he was already struggling with. As the election approaches, it's clear that this incident will be more than just a fleeting moment in the news cycle. It speaks to larger issues of leadership, civility in politics, and the power dynamics between political figures and cultural icons. The former president's willingness to engage in such public feuds raises questions about his temperament and fitness for office, issues that are likely to be at the forefront of voters' minds as they head to the polls. The response from the entertainment industry has been swift and largely unified in support of Swift. Many of her fellow artists have spoken out against the former president's comments, further amplifying the issue. This solidarity within the entertainment world could have far-reaching effects, potentially influencing the opinions of fans across various genres and demographics. It's important to note that this isn't just about one celebrity endorsement or one ill-advised tweet. It's about the broader implications for our political discourse and the values we prioritize in our leaders. The former president's attack on Swift is symptomatic of a larger pattern of behavior that has defined his political career, a willingness to attack and belittle anyone he perceives as a threat, regardless of the consequences. This incident also serves as a reminder of the power of popular culture in shaping political narratives. In an era where traditional news sources are often viewed with skepticism, celebrities and influencers can play a significant role in shaping public opinion. The former president's decision to pick a fight with one of the world's most popular entertainers could prove to be a critical misstep in his campaign strategy. As we move closer to election day, it's likely that this incident will continue to reverberate through the political landscape. The former president's supporters will no doubt attempt to downplay its significance, while his opponents will seize on it as further evidence of his unsuitability for office. Ultimately, it will be up to the voters to decide how much weight to give to this and other similar incidents when they cast their ballots. In conclusion, what started as a seemingly impulsive attack on a pop star has evolved into a significant moment in this election cycle. It's a testament to the unpredictable nature of modern politics, where a single social media post can shift the entire conversation. As we watch this story continue to unfold, it serves as a reminder of the high stakes in this election and the power that each of us holds as voters. The coming weeks will undoubtedly bring more twists and turns in this already tumultuous campaign. But one thing is clear, the intersection of politics, popular culture, and social media will continue to shape our political discourse in ways we're only beginning to understand. As voters, it's our responsibility to look beyond the noise and drama, to focus on the issues that truly matter, and to make our voices heard at the ballot box. In the end, this election isn't about feuds between politicians and pop stars. It's about the future of our nation and the values we want to see reflected in our leadership. As we approach November, let's remember that our power as citizens lies not in our ability to generate headlines, but in our right to vote and shape the direction of our country. As this extraordinary saga continues to unfold, it serves as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of modern political campaigns. The former president's attack on Taylor Swift has transcended mere celebrity gossip, becoming a lightning rod for broader discussions about leadership, civic engagement, and the power of popular culture in shaping political narratives. This incident has energized young voters, sparked debates about the role of celebrities in politics, and highlighted the stark contrasts between the candidates' approaches to leadership. It's a vivid illustration of how a single social media post can dramatically alter the course of a campaign, especially in the crucial final weeks before an election. As we approach November, voters are faced with a clear choice. On one side, a candidate who seems willing to engage in divisive rhetoric and public feuds, even at the risk of alienating large segments of the electorate. On the other, a candidate positioning themselves as a steady hand, focused on substantive issues and unity. Ultimately, this election will be decided not by Twitter feuds or celebrity endorsements, but by the collective will of the American people. It's a testament to the strength of our democratic system that, despite the noise and drama of campaign season, the power still rests with the voters. As we head to the polls, let's remember that our vote is our voice. It's an opportunity to shape the future of our nation and to choose the kind of leadership we want to see in the highest office in the land. Whether you're a Swifty, a political junkie, or just a concerned citizen, your vote matters. In the end, this election is about more than just two candidates or two parties. 
It's about the direction we want our country to take and the values we want to see reflected in our leadership. As this Taylor Swift controversy has shown, every voice and every vote has the power to make a difference. So let's tune out the noise, focus on the issues that matter, and make our voices heard. The future of our nation depends on it.